So we've covered the linear strikes, we've covered the hooking punches in regards to the blocking and countering. So really we're looking at four major angles, something coming straight on a linear plane, something coming around on a circular plane, something coming either up or diagonally up and something coming over the top. And the things that want to remain consistent are correct structure and position with the arms and obviously not just in the arms but in the entire body, distancing, timing, these are all things that need to be consistent within all of the body. All right, so the positions of the arm don't actively change as much as we might think. Whether we're blocking low or whether we're blocking high, we still want good, correct positioning within the arms. So what we're going to look at now, what we're going to do some, this makes sense, a lower block here makes sense. If something's coming around, for her to check the arm this way, and if you notice what she's already doing there, is she's counter striking with the opposite side. Which not only stops my arm, but it also makes that arm stronger as well. So she's stopping me at the source. My arm doesn't kind of work on its own without the rest of my body. She's stopping it here, which could be a strike in the face, but also both arms working together just makes that blocking arm stronger as well. So she's not isolating her body, she's working with it all. All the way up through her legs, out through the arms. So it's an expression of whole body movement and intent. So from this position here, the arm comes round, she blocks it. There you go. And again, what I can do is I can test it. She's got a nice shape on the arm there. If the arm starts to bend in, you can see she's working really hard. If it's a little bit too straight, exactly the same thing. So we want that happy medium here. And she's got this nice forward energy. That's a big strike as well. Now, if the strike was coming in tight, what we can start to do is, if me, if you come in with a tight up here, is we can start to drop the elbow down there. So there's going to become a point in here where it's and doesn't make sense for me to try and get on top of it and move around here, I'm not going to catch it. So we can use a sinking elbow to take that offline as well. All right, so that's just something. So two kind of nice ways that we can work against this on a either stabbing type motion, I'm not going to say it's an nice type of stabbing type motion or trying to hit from here. If it gets tighter, just drop your elbow in. That's it, put it in like that. That's it, and again, as it comes in, put it in. All right. So that's the counter for the punches with the uppercut or the motion. 